All right, so when we're looking at future value, one of the things we've got to look at is how long did the money actually have um, to collect interest, All right? So we're going to make this deposit in year one, right? but in the beginning of year nine, it will have only grown for eight years. And then my $3,700 deposit at the end of year five is only really going to have grown for four years. The 9% will apply to both of the deposits, but what will be different here is what your value for N is. So I'm going to find the future value of the $4,200 and then the future value of the $3,700, and I'm going to add those together. So I'm going to start with my um, future value of the $4,200. So my N here is actually going to be um, 8. My IY is going to be 9. My present value is going to be that negative $4,200. I'm not making any payments along the way, just putting in that one chunk. So payment is zero, and this is what I'm going to compute. So that's going to be for my first amount. For my second amount, I'm at the end of year five. So that means I'm only going to have four years to accumulate interest. The interest rate is still going to be nine, except that time I'm going to make my present value 3,700 negative, still not making any payments along the way, and then I'm going to compute future value. And so when I get this figure and this figure, I'm going to add the two together, and that's going to give me the total future value of those two sets of cash flows. All right, so I'm going to start with my first one. So I've got an N of 8. I've got an IY of 9. I've got a present value of $4,200, but I've got to make that one negative, right? Because remember, one of them has to be negative, so I hit my present value. Um, my payment is going to be zero, and now I'm going to compute the future value. So I've got 83, 68, 76 for my first cash flow. So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to hit second, and clear my time value money keys right? and I'm going to start with the next one so in this case deposited at the end of year five um, and so that means I only actually had four periods where I earned interest that's my N I'm still getting my same IY or interest per year of nine percent my present value remember is going to be my thirty seven hundred dollar payment Right, but that's got to be a negative value, and so that's my present value. I'm just going to tell the calculator I'm not making any more payments, and then I'm going to compute future value. So that second $3,700 is going to be worth $5,222.85. So now I'm going to take that present value that I found for my first cash flow, whoops, and that was 83.68.76. Uh, and I'm going to add what I just got over there, which is my 5.222.85. I'm going to add those two sets of cash flows together and so my calculator tells me that the total future value is thirteen thousand five ninety one sixty one so remember even though it was year nine right in year one there were only eight periods here and then I had the end of year five. And so at the end of year five, 
I was only going to have four periods here. So usually if there's a problem with this question, it's that um, students have used 9 and 5 instead of 8 and 4. So I uh, hope that helps.